While everyone is rushing to Quebec, the Canadian government is partnering with the Yukon government, which is a territory in the northwest of Canada with about 4% French speakers. They continue to work together to improve the immigration system, particularly for the territory's programs, including the Provincial Nominee Program, or PNP. Since Yukon is not a province but a territory, one of Canada's three territories alongside 10 provinces, it's part of an effort to speed up the transition of temporary foreign workers to permanent residency. This announcement, made in early October by the Honorable Mark Miller, Minister of Immigration, details an agreement between the federal government and Yukon's government to support temporary workers who play a crucial role in the territory's economic development, helping them become permanent residents. This initiative aims to facilitate the transition of temporary foreign workers and international students toward permanent residency. The discussion also covers the pilot project for Francophone students in minority situations, aiming to accelerate their pathway to permanent residency. Temporary foreign workers can continue working while their permanent residency application is being processed through the Yukon Nominee Program. During this time, they will receive a work permit extension to continue working while their application is being reviewed. Eligible applicants must meet the established criteria. If, for instance, they are unable to submit their application through the Yukon Nominee Program, they might receive permanent residency in 2025 or 2026. These skilled workers take up key vacant positions in Yukon and actively contribute to the economy and social diversity of Canada. To date, the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, or IRCC, has collaborated with Alberta and other provinces to accelerate workers' transition to permanent residency. This initiative could be implemented in Yukon and other territories, with the IRCC remaining open to exploring options with all provinces and territories to grant permanent residency to more current temporary residents in response to labor market needs. Many are opting for Quebec, but I'll make a more detailed video on this topic as the situation is becoming quite serious. Not all Francophones can settle in Quebec as it is only one province, yet it attracts about 97 to 98 percent of Francophone immigrants. Statistics from 2023 show that about 23 percent of all permanent residency admissions came through the Provincial Nominee Program, helping provinces and territories address their labor market needs. To easily find a job in Yukon, visit the official Yukon Immigration website. The 2024 quota is already filled, so any permanent residency applications through the Yukon Nominee Program would be for 2025. Since we are nearing the end of 2024, it's important to first obtain a valid job offer from an eligible Yukon employer to apply through this program. Note that asylum seekers are not eligible for this program, as is the case for other non-eligible applicants. For job offers, you can use platforms like JobBank or Employment Center. Keep in mind that vacant positions in Yukon are permanent, not temporary. For positions like Home Helpers, the announcement remains open until November 29th, with eight vacancies available. As a Francophone immigrant, applying to a territory like Yukon offers an advantage as being French-speaking is highly valued in these regions. Jobs such as early childhood educators are also available, with salaries ranging from $27 to $40 per hour depending on qualifications. If you are interested in these job offers, you can send your CV and cover letter to the provided email addresses on job listings. Even though other provinces and territories are open to welcoming Francophone immigrants, if you still wish to move to Quebec, nothing stops you from doing so. 
However, if Quebec decides to reduce the number of foreign workers or asylum seekers, as the Premier might suggest, it's important to be aware of such changes. This video is meant to inform, so please share it widely and like it. See you next time for more updates.